So let's move on to the first. The first one that came up is the Moon card, and it came up in reverse. So this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is what it normally looks like, straight up. And it's a card that heeds you to follow your instincts to be able to get solutions for the right path, for the to take the right path. So to follow your instincts to get solutions. Because as you can see in the card here, she's looking at the, sh the shadow of the moon, the reflection of the moon, who's actually up here smiling at her. And so she's not seeing the hidden truths. Um, the card is also calling you out to uh, follow your intuition, your psychic gut, psychic feelings, and go with those. And so when it's in reverse, and you know, two, this card comes up. I'm doing this the day after the full moon in Cancer. And this is actually the, the card of Cancer. Of course, it has the moon, and it is called the moon. But typically, when you think of the traditional tarot moon card, there's a path, the art depicts a path with a coyote on each side. There's a crab on it, so Cancer the crab. Um, and it's it's deciding which way to go and, and it, the path and, and which path do I follow. So it, it, this card heeds that, not warning, but it's being um, cautious about look at the hidden truths of life. So in reverse, this is more about illusions or delusions, both. And so maybe it could be around that full moon time period, which was just yesterday. I'm doing this on the 13th of January, and yesterday was the full moon in Cancer. So it could be that, you know, you're you're seeing more of of what what the truth is, you know, or your need, or you were wanting to, or that's, you know, you focused on that. What, what's the hidden meaning behind um, what I want? Say you, you're a, a baker and you, you take your goods to a fair or to a, um, you know, like a flea market type atmosphere. And you're a little bit hesitant because you're not sure what you have to offer is as good as what others have to offer. And how can you make it better? What are are you being illusional about it? Are you being like, oh well, mine's mine's great. I'll charge you know ten dollars for my cupcake when really you know three dollars would be more than enough. Um, are you are you undervaluing yourself? Are you being delusional about it? So this could of course apply to any circumstance: your clients, your your coworkers, at home. Are you seeing everything for what it is? And I think this card shouts out to you to do that. There's a trout jumping out of the water, as you can see here. And this trout indicates wisdom and um, following your right path. So I just feel like since this card came up first, it indicates cancer. It was a cancer full moon yesterday. Um, you know, it's it's really interesting. The only thing is it came up in reverse. So it might have just been that that full moon and you, you've taken a pause either yesterday or even today on the 13th and thought about how can I make how can I make what I'm doing different? What are the cautions? What are the great things? Sort of asking the questions, the deeper questions, the the mystical mystery questions of life. Even with working with other people, like I said, even with clients, is this a value to other people? Am I doing, is this, is this a real value? Um, how, can I, how can I do this to where it's, I feel good about it and others do as well? Because I feel like that's what comes up here. It's, it's um, the first card of this three card, really mysterious spread. Well, it's kind of fun, actually. Um, I've, I've not seen a spread like this in a while of the, the same colors. Well, the next card that comes up is the star card, which is a very positive card. This is like the stars are in alignment, the astrological signs, the, the planets, everything's in alignment for you to take advantage of an excellent opportunity. So we'll do some clarification cards on this, but this is at least, and both of these are major arcana cards. So the universe is really, and I'm here shouting out at you this 
this particular couple of weeks, Cancer, we're like trying, the universe is wanting to get your attention and wanting you to pay attention to your intuition and to the, the truth of the matter, what really is real. And they're wanting you to be open to opportunities that are around you because you can really shine. You have the opportunity to do that. The opportunities are there for you to shine. Yeah, this is this card is excellent. And when it comes up in a reading, it's excellent for making changes, doing things differently, say in your career, or moving in the direction that you desire, but you've never taken that direction before. It's like it's kind of, you know, it's new to you. So you see how she's in the water and she's very grounded and she has these like angelic wings and she's pouring water from the spout and yet the star is shining brightly. So you have the opportunity to do so. Don't pass anything up that, and especially if it doesn't feel like it's a um, something that you would normally do, it, my gut feeling and intuition is telling me to tell you to be very broad and open for opportunities, different, creative. And you know, this also indicates that the solutions often reside in our subconscious mind. Because you see, it's very, again, it's very dreamy. And this is about psychic intuition, the hidden truths. This is about subconscious. So you're really getting a lot of inner awareness, at least for these two cards. Inner, um, co collecting your thoughts, collecting your, uh, taking some time out for you so that you can do that. Here's a goldfish right here. So there's also two fish, of course, there's a lot of water, uh, but the goldfish is a symbol of opportunities and balance. And so it, it's leaping joyfully, really, if you look at it, it's like leaping out of these waters that's very vigorous right in through here. So you have the chance to jump at opportunities and to do it in a way, though, that feels, that feels calm and balanced for yourself. It's almost like stepping out of the box, stepping, you know, doing some things that you've been close either close-minded about or you haven't felt they're in your comfort zone and the universe is saying, oh, yes, yes, it is. Yes, it's in your, you can do it. You're ready. Don't analyze forever. Stay grounded. Get out of your headspace because <laughs> you're thinking too much. <laughs> All right. So the last card that comes up is the Ten of of Thames, which is the same as the Ten of Swords. And here you can see she's sitting around a campfire. All Ten Swords are around her. And this card signifies um, a time to turn the page on an ordeal or um, on a situation. Release it. Release the negativity. Let it go. It's the Tenth card of the Sword cards. It's like she's doing a ritual to release. See how the smoke is coming out of the cauldron. She's releasing all the negativity. So if this has been, you know, kind of like the stinking thinking, it's, this is not the stinking thinking card. I call that the uh, five of cups <laughs> where she's, when she's pouring out some of the, the water from two of the cups, it's like I'm focusing on the negative. You're not doing that any longer. This is you're releasing. You're releasing in a way of, of allowing opportunities to come in so but something has something's needed to change here for you to heal these boars represent healing and that could either be in a energetic sense a, a, a mental sense maybe childhood stuff or limiting beliefs it could be healing those and getting past that situation or it could be in a physical way too um, a loss a loss of a loved one or the loss of a any any type of negative situation in your life and just saying okay I'm letting it go I, this is it I'm done with it I'm you know you're it's like you're washing your hands of it you're past it you're moving on and I feel like there's a lot of lessons that have been learned from this particular card and after this you know after this process ends of you letting go then things can improve. Things can improve. And what the opportunities that are the universe is saying you have here can 
be restored. That's what I was hearing. It's it's restored, but it's also coming up to the top, bubbling up to the top so you can take advantage of them. In other words, say you're you're fishing and, and you know, the, the fish bites. Since there's fish in these cars, I might as well talk about fishing here, huh? But um, the fish bites, so you've, you're successful. You've, you've gone out there, you've put all your tackle in the box. I'm not a, I'm not a fisherwoman, but I'm just saying. Um, you are a water sign and it's just, I'm just making this analogy. You've gone out there, you've taken all of your gear, your equipment, what you've needed, you've been prepared. You've not taken what you don't need. You're just taking the things you do. You know exactly the, the route you're going and you're letting go of, of um, well, I need to be there at six in the morning because that's the only time the fish bite and they won't bite any other time. Well, maybe they will. Maybe they will. So you're putting difficulties and a bad situation behind you because a new future awaits for you, Cancer. All right, let's pull some clarification cards. I hope these cards kind of make sense to you. They're all inner, you know, like I said, I mean, the moon, the stars, that your inner self, and then the, the swords are about our thinking and our thoughts. So for you, for the last two weeks of January, again, for some of you cancers, this is, yes, yeah, some manifestation, some manifesting out in the world, but it's also about your inner dwellings, your subconscious intuition all right well the chariot the, actually two cards came out here so the chariot card in reverse and the seven of swords straight up okay well let's let's talk about the um this the chariot in reverse so normally the chariot card looks like this and this is a guy who's ready to move forward he's ready to move on this would be a great card to come after this one because He's moved past difficult situations. He's ready for new adventures. He has, as you can see in this particular card, it's sort of Egyptian-like, but here's, these would be be like horses, the white and the dark, the yin and the yang. He's mastered all the difficulties. There's a starry sky behind him. He's, he's excited about his new adventures. It's not been easy, but he's excited about it. So this came up in reverse, meaning that a lot of you have felt like, oh, I don't know, I'm just, let me think about it. I'm Again, it could be Mercury retrograde. We just came out of it um, three, four, five days ago, and there's a shadow period, a shadow time of at least a week afterwards. So, you know, maybe you felt like you, you want to put plans in action, but there have been delays. Then the Seven of Swords comes up, and... This, again, the sword cards are about our thinking. It's the same as this, our thinking, our, our fears, our thoughts. This guy looks like a thief, doesn't he? Stealing off in the, I don't know if it's the night, but it's it had, there's clouds above, dark clouds. So he's taking one, two, three, four, five of the seven swords and leaving two. So this feels like it could be that, you know, you've been afraid that someone's taking your ideas and you've been a little bit secretive about things. Or maybe you feel like you're you've taken ideas from others and you're you're coveting those. But it feels to me like it's okay. Either you know, either way it's okay because we're all still very individualistic. The way we give our message is different because of different personalities. But it does feel like this has come up. I call my <laughs> the dog, my one year old dog the Seven of Swords recently because he's uh he's into the stage of um he, if I drop something on the floor, like accidentally drop a, a pen, he'll run off with it. He'll turn around and look at me like that, like this guy does, with this mischievous look, and then he runs off. So anyway. <laughs> and then here's the Knight of Rods. Okay, so there's some, there's a fire person in your chart. This could be a Leo Sagittarius or Aries. And this person really is fiery of all the cards, of all the core cards especially. Um, this guy is, boy, he likes to take action. He likes to be on the go. He sometimes oversteps himself because he's so passionate about his creativity and his, and his, his work because this is about your work. And um, he, he's just, he's a writer. And I say writer. Hmm, that's interesting that came up. Can be because it's about creativity. So if some of you are needing help on writing promotional materials or 
uh, writing blurbs on Facebook to get someone to come to your event or you're working on a project and you need to promote it in any way, this person could be of help to you. Just, you know, keep them toned down. <laughs> they sometimes, like I said, overstep themselves, but I do feel like they could be of help. And then the Emperor card comes up. So the Emperor is a typical father figure. Um, he is authoritative. He has answers. He's more than willing to give answers. He can also mean, he can mean a religious figure or the Pope, but oftentimes he's someone around you that you can go to for advice. He could be in the spirit world as well. And this is someone you just feel around you and empathically know that's around you. Maybe your father passed on or your grandfather or even, you know, a husband or a spouse. But someone is around you that that's very authoritative. The Hermit card. Okay, so this is this is about following your path, but looking inwards to do so. It's not too unsimilar than the Moon card. They're both major arcana cards, but the Hermit card indicates that he's walking outside. He wants to take a sabbatical because he really wants to look inwardly to follow his own path. Yeah, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm saying the different or the same words as the moon. It's really you all, Cancer. This this two weeks might interestingly be around um, your inner awareness. Just saying. All right. And then the Ten of Pentacles comes up. So the Ten of Pentacles is about um, your money, your finances. Uh, it's generational. You see the couple here, the older guy, and then the younger son of these, probably these two. And oftentimes it can represent, you know, will, a will that's probating, or it can represent inheritance, or it can represent money being passed down, property being passed down. It could be good health within the family, um, family enjoyment, being together, enjoying time together, spending time together. Yeah, I feel like it's just a very pleasant card for you. Let's pull one more. Let's see, what does Cancer, this one wanted to come out. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay, that's interesting. The Ten came out, then the Nine. So um, being happy at home, you know, happy family. I know you love your home and your being at home. She's enamored with the, the creatures of the world and she has her money in her castle. Both of these, there's castles in the background. So feeling really good about your home space. Maybe you're redecorating. Maybe you're just enjoying that new chair that you bought that's so comfortable. Kind of like what used to be called a lazy boy, but it's just so comfortable. Or new bedding, or it, it doesn't have to be a thing. It can just feel like your, you know, your home is your castle. I mean, basically it's what it's saying here. All right. All right. So while we started with subconscious, subconscious and inner awareness, the clarification cards, meaning that this is what you're looking for on the outside. Okay, so I'll add these up, the three original cards. And we have the moon card is 18. The star card is 17, so that's 35. And then you have the 10, which is 45. So 4 and 5 is 9. And 9 in... Uh, numerology is about compassion and love. And I feel like this is being compassionate toward yourself and loving toward yourself and, and realizing that, of course, you know, you're a spiritual being, but it's more than that. It's realizing all the unique qualities that you you behold within yourself and your, and your intuition. Again, honoring your intuition is so very important for this particular two weeks. Well, okay, so, and the nine in traditional tarot is the same as the hermit card, and I pulled that a minute ago. So this is, yeah, <laughs> inner awareness, your subconscious. Go inside of yourself. Think about what it is you want um, and, and what feels good to you. Your path, Cancer, your path. It's about you and your what you can create by by looking inside of, of, of who you are. Okay.